It honestly feels so weird to be back in front of the camera, but you guys have no idea how long I've been meaning to film this type of video where I just kind of like explain everything that's happened since I posted last. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Lauren and I'm a junior chemical engineering student at the University of Rhode Island. And I'm here to explain everything that's happened between I think I posted last in like August from when I was at Vanderbilt. If you guys haven't seen those videos, ton of fun. I posted a lot over the summer. I was really proud of that. And then junior year, fall semester began. And if you're a fellow engineer, a fellow chemical engineer, I don't know, if you go to URI and you watch my videos, you probably know. Fall semester of junior year for chemis, it's known to be difficult. So before I expand further, I'm actually gonna get in my car and drive over to campus because it is currently 9 a.m. and I have my last final today, which is really cool. It's actually a pharmacy class. It's all about different dosage forms. Really interesting, especially put next to all my other like thermo, fluid mechanics, all the chemi stuff. So I have that final at 1130. I'm gonna head over to campus. I can talk to you guys some more about what this semester has looked like for me. But yeah, pretty crazy. I have my last final. And then we're on winter break. All right, I'll see you on campus. All right, I actually thought of this really cool analogy for the semester. I know I probably have some athletes, student athletes, lifters, runners who watch my channel. And if you guys have heard of the phrase time under tension, I think that accurately describes kind of what's happened this semester and how it's different from, from the past ones. So in the past, I'd have my normal kind of like gen ed STEM classes, calculus, physics, uh, organic chemistry even. All of these classes that you take a concept and you have to memorize a certain amount of theory, applications, you know, definitely difficult classes. Not saying they were easy, but up until this point, I've had a pretty good study regimen. You know, I get assigned homework on a weekly basis. I complete it. That along with studying a couple days before an exam, I do all right. This semester, however, was a bit different. And I feel like it was definitely time under tension. Like I wasn't getting assigned a ton of homework. It was on me to make sure that I was putting in that time every week, spending time with the material, studying on my own, even if there wasn't an exam on the horizon, just putting in time with the material to make sure I understand the concept. Like thermodynamics, we had the first half of thermo last semester. So luckily I wasn't coming in with a blank slate, but the concepts in that class are super like out there for me. And it took a little while. I had to spend a lot of time with the material in the same vein, like fluid mechanics. I think we had maybe two or three homework assignments and you might be saying, oh my God, that's amazing. Like you must've had so much time. Yes, where I wasn't doing homework, but I'll probably pop up on the screen, like some of my good notes pages from just making study guides, making crib sheets, retaking some of the notes to make sure I had all those concepts in my brain. I had to put in a lot of time to grow the muscle, you know, grow the brain. All that being said, a lot of this work was very time consuming. So even days where I didn't have too much like written homework that I was being assigned, I was still spending hours and hours with the material. Good news is, uh, by the time the exam came around, I felt pretty good and all that time under tension meant I was pretty strong with the concepts. But that also meant I didn't have a lot of free time. Um, all my time, problems, homework, group projects, all that fun stuff, or I was using my own time to study. And I also did have some balance in there, don't worry, like still went out for runs, still hung out with friends, hung out with my boyfriend Sam, my family, like all that good stuff. But all the other pockets of time were spent really trying to understand all the concepts I was being taught. So that unfortunately meant there wasn't a lot of time for the vlog. And I say this every semester, I feel like I say this every semester, but truly, like, I feel like I couldn't make vlogging enough of a priority this semester. And I hate that because I truly do love vlogging and I love looking back and seeing myself freshman year and like, oh my gosh, how much I've grown and all of that. But I feel like it would have been an injustice to prioritize my time any other way than I did. So that was a really long-winded explanation. Uh, yeah, this semester, a lot of time doing stuff. Um, but we should really head to campus now. Um, it's it's getting late. All right, I'll see you there. But we should really head to campus now. Um, it's, it's getting late. All right, I'll see you there. 
So that was a really long-winded way to say I had to put a lot of work into my classes this past semester, which I don't even think I said. I took thermodynamics too, fluid mechanics, biopharmaceutics, pharmaceutics too, which was like the dosage forms class. I also had research. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. Anyway, this is not me complaining though. I genuinely love learning and I had a ton of fun in all my classes. So there was a lot of time under tension with these concepts. As you can tell, it's really cold. I'm gonna head inside this building right now, which is our engineering building. I'm gonna get some last minute studying done for this exam that I have in like an hour, hour and a half. And then after that, I'm gonna share some of the more fun different things I got to do this semester not just studying you might have seen these different things around if you follow me on Instagram right here uh, but yeah let me get inside I can barely even think <laughs> Okay, possibly one of the best feelings in the world. Finishing your final exam and officially starting winter break. <sighs> Big sigh of relief, that went really well. I need to get home and eat something because my stomach was audibly growling in that exam room. So I'll catch up with you guys when I get home. We'll debrief. <laughs> okay, now that lunch has been consumed, I can think a little more clear. I just want to wrap up this video a little bit with a few more words. Most importantly, where we're going from here. So as you guys know, I love to film vlog during the semester. Obviously that didn't happen this past semester. We went over that, we went over that. Future semesters, I have a plan. And that is going to be trying to record vlogs whenever I'm feeling motivated, whenever I want, and not necessarily editing them right away. But when I do have time, I'll have footage that I can edit. So if I have 10 minutes here, 15 minutes here, and I'm feeling motivated, I can go in, edit a video, and eventually, you know, I'll catch up and I'll have videos to put out. On the topic of videos to film, I might have a trip coming up to Iceland in March, so there will definitely be a ton of content coming out from that, as well as this winter break. I think I might do a couple scripted videos for you guys, like I did the College Essentials video and the Organic Chemistry Guide video. Those have done pretty well, so I definitely have a lot more experience to talk about things that happened this semester. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave them down below. And lastly, I just wanna to touch on a couple of things that aren't really school related that I did this semester. The top one definitely being the AICAG National Student Conference that happened mid-November, like right before Thanksgiving. It was in Phoenix, Arizona. It was the first time that I've ever flown across the country or just flown by myself. So cool. Um, I got to present my poster there from the summer. So if you guys have seen the Vanderbilt vlog where I presented my poster after the summer program I did there. Because I won that poster competition, I received a travel grant to go and present it at a national conference. So I chose to submit an abstract to AICAG and I got a slot in their student poster competition. So I went, spent the weekend in Phoenix. It was truly unforgettable. I met so many interesting people, not only students, but I got to talk to professors, all different grad schools that I was interested in. If you guys wanna see like short little vlogs of that, I've posted shorts, reels, and TikToks of my three days there. So again, if you guys are interested, I'm sure I have links in the bio where you can go see them. But I'll also pop up a few pictures on the screen. I, it was just a really proud moment where I felt really knowledgeable about the topic I was speaking about and super passionate and it was just so fun to to talk science with <laughs> with other like-minded people. Met a ton of cool friends. I don't know. It was just really fun. And to have that happen like right in the middle of the semester was a perfect little break for me. I also had the opportunity to kind of further my undergraduate research. Not only did I write the intro uh, to an upcoming paper that we are submitting to an academic journal, um, but I also kind of was on my own project this semester and that's gonna continue into next semester as well. So maybe I'll, I'll talk about it in another video, but working with one of the grad students in my lab, I kind of started this project and that was just a ton of fun. Again, coming off of the summer where I gained so much confidence and experience in the lab to be able to further that 
at URI at my home institution and begin kind of my own project by myself, but also like obviously still have mentors and people around me. Undergraduate research for me has been such a huge game changer. It's different from any class you're gonna take and it really gives you that experience. So that was another thing that happened this semester. So geez, we have ASEAG, we have research, we have just hanging out with friends and family, relaxing sometimes, and getting a ton of work done whenever I can. Spending time, time under tension with all my assignments, all the concepts. I can now officially say, because that pharmacy exam is done, that I have completed fall semester, junior year, aka the hardest semester. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all those normal YouTube things because it really helps me out. Stay happy, stay healthy out there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!